Once again this morning in these daily devotions, we're going to be focusing in on that word, Behold, where God draws our attention to something vitally important in a passage of Scripture. Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I am about to rain bread from heaven for you. Think about that. How cool would that be? You walk outside your front door in the morning and you see loaves of bread falling from the sky. Just laying there for you to pick up. It's like something out of cloudy with a chance of meatballs. And that's almost what happened for the people of Israel. Every morning, they'd wake up, walk outside, and across the ground, there would be this light, flaky, sweet, crusty bread all over the top of the ground. And they could gather it up into jars and take it inside and eat it all day. And that's how God fed them every day for 40 years. Every day, that is, except for one. There was one day where there would be no bread. That was the Sabbath day, the day of rest. The day before, Friday, God would give them a double portion of bread so that they could gather it up and keep it overnight. And then on Saturday, the Sabbath, the day of rest, they could sleep in. They wouldn't have to gather food. God did this because he wanted to teach them a lesson. He wanted them to know that they do not live by bread alone. The people rather live according to the word of God. So he told them not to gather bread on the seventh day, on the Sabbath, and he gave them the opportunity to rest. They didn't even need to cook food. They had nothing to do all day except rest and trust God's word. And that's how it is with us too. God speaks and we listen. He commands, we obey. He promises, and we believe. We don't live here in this world by bread alone. We live by the power and promise of God's word. We confess our sins. He forgives our sins. We rejoice. God continues every day to rain down blessings from heaven for you and for me. In Jesus' name, amen.